What is genomics? The first step to understanding genomics is to ask, what is a genome? A genome is the set of instructions needed to create an organism. Genomes are stored in cells, as DNA. DNA is short for deoxyribonucleic acid, an amazing molecule that stores information using a special code. You can think of a genome as a coded cookbook to build and grow an organism. For example, you. The human genome contains about 23,000 recipes that code for different proteins. Each recipe or functional unit of DNA is called a gene. But only about 2% codes for protein. The rest is non-coding DNA with regulatory or other yet unknown functions. The study of how DNA works is called genetics. The methodologies that define genomics allow us to see a bigger picture, a panoramic view of the entire DNA landscape. Not only how DNA works, but how the whole genome interacts with its environment, from the cell that houses it to factors outside the organism. The study of the genome and its environment is known as genomics. A famous example of the power of genomics is the Human Genome Project. The goal of the project was to read the entire human genome. That's enough information to fill not one, but 400 standard English dictionaries. As the project progressed, researchers needed to create new tools to analyze and share this massive amount of data. This, in turn, spurred an explosion of further research. By its publication in 2001, the Human Genome Project had forever changed the way we think about life sciences research. How Genomics is Improving Lives Two Made in Canada Examples Example 1. Copy Number Variation Until recently, it was widely accepted that the human genome contains two copies of any given segment of DNA. By looking beyond the single gene level, genomics revealed a different picture. We now know that large segments of DNA can actually be duplicated or deleted in the genome. These copy number variations, or CNVs, contribute to our uniqueness, including susceptibility to some disorders. By examining CNVs, Canadian researchers are learning more about how genomics can improve human health and are sharing their results with the world using an online database. Example 2. Combating the Mountain Pine Beetle In Western Canada, the mountain pine beetle has destroyed millions of trees. The beetle carries a fungus that helps it to overcome the tree's defenses. Overrun with invaders, a tree will eventually die. Researchers are currently studying the interaction between these three organisms at the genome level to uncover which characteristics of the beetle allow it to carry the fungus and under what conditions trees are able to fight off invasion. The results will lead to forestry management strategies that can save our pine trees. The Speed of Genomics The Human Genome Project took 13 years and over $3 billion to complete. Since 2001, individuals have had their genomes read in a fraction of the time for a fraction of the cost. Soon, you'll be able to have your genome read quickly and cheaply. Expanding Knowledge Today, the genomes of thousands of different animals and plants and bugs have been read. By comparing genomes, we can see just how alike different species are, not only today, but through evolutionary history. Open Access The ever-growing list of freely available genomics resources is accessible to everyone, including you. 
Open access to such a wealth of knowledge allows many positive applications which impact our lives, our health, and our environment. Genomics is Genomics is holistic in scope. It studies all the genetic information in an organism and how that genome interacts with its environment. Genomics is high throughput. It reads and analyzes large amounts of DNA information quickly and efficiently. Genomics is resource generating. These resources further enable research and discovery. Genomics is holistic, high throughput, resource generating.